Procrastination, the most committed and greatest sin of all. Procrastination is the ultimate enemy of success. The chances of you doing something today is far greater than that of tomorrow. If you want to be successful and accomplish your goals, then you must do it now. Success doesn't come to those who wait, but willingly take it right away. Have you asked yourself how many times you've waited to do something and later you've never done it? After five weeks of me going back and forth whether I wanted to start a YouTube channel or be a writer, well, here I am. But today I want to cover four potential topics. Why procrastination will win every time. What famous people do or say that eliminates procrastination. Procrastination is the number one enemy of success. And what can you do to stop procrastination? So number one, why procrastination will win every time. The average person works about 35 to 40 hours a week in the U.S. But if you look at the movie stars, rich people, and entrepreneurs, we work 70 to 100 hours a week. Is that too much? No, it depends. If you love your job, if you're helping the poor, if you're educating someone, then it's totally different than sitting in a cubicle 4x4 four four all day long, right? The thing is, we don't let procrastination get in our way and it doesn't even come into our mind. Procrastination is a huge issue to the normal individual, but to successful people, it isn't even a problem. So for example, if you do 40 hours a week and you sleep seven hours and you take care of your family and kids for four hours, that gives you about 34 hours a free time a week and during those times let's just say you take half of those and do what you enjoy like watching a movie drinking so you have 17 hours left what are you going to do with those hours you can learn a new language you can read a book you can get a new job that's 17 hours a week but many of us we just watch tv and simply let life slip away so working hard is a must if you want to get ahead in life there's no other way but putting in 80 90 hours a week but you have to do it consistently and you have to do it without breaking your back or your mind. It's okay to go to the movies and to drink and to relax. We need to do that. But the mentality of most of us is that we want to work 9 to 5 on the weekdays and on the weekends to chill all day. That's not how you're going to become successful or rich at all. The chances of you ever achieving your goal or dreams is impossible. Nearly 0.001%. If you really want to achieve your dreams, then long hours are a must. Your actions become your very thoughts and your thoughts become your action. If you tell yourself, I'm gonna start a business, I'm gonna do an online course, I'm gonna invent something, and you keep thinking of it and keep thinking of it, eventually it will happen. But the problem is, with procrastination, you can only think of it so much before it becomes tomorrow, next year, and maybe a decade from now. If you have an idea, then you need to implement it right away. Because if not, it's gonna be in your head until it gets flushed down the toilet. So the key takeaway is you have the power to create the life you truly desire and there's nothing worse than death but regrets. So what famous people do or say that eliminates procrastination? So let me give you some example. Michael Jordan spent his off seasons taking hundreds of jumpers a day until it was perfect. Howard Strutz, Starbucks CEO, still works from home after 13 hours a day. Mark Cuban hasn't taken a vacation for seven years when he first began his business. Jeffrey Ray Immelt, the GE CEO, worked for 24 years putting in 100 hours a week. And it takes about 10,000 hours to master anything. That's usually the average number for something of value. Don Pina, he's known as the $50 billion man. And I suggest you watch some of his YouTube videos. He's very straight, no BS, and he gives it to you straight, you know, cold. He doesn't accept little baby talks. He's here for adults and he really talks like you need to understand. You know, people make a lot of excuses. His rule is just get it done. That's pretty much it. So what do successful successful people do that get stuff done? They define their goals. What do they want to do and why? They plan out their goals and make it down. If your goal is, is very big, then you need to take it one step at a time. They don't let negative thoughts or bad emotions control them. Humans, we thrive on emotion. So it really brings us a lot of us down and it doesn't get what we want accomplished. They think long term. The rich, they know that it doesn't take two days to become a billionaire. It could take their whole life and they're willing to pay the price for that. And the lastly is they keep learning. They never stop learning. 
every day there's something new to be learned and it just means more money for them so the key takeaway is define your goals plan it out accordingly don't let the bad times bring you down practice practice and practice until you achieve your goals and never stop learning because if you do then the doors of the opportunities will remain shut so number three is procrastination is the number one enemy of, of success if my american mother had one good trait it would be that she never put anything off for tomorrow and she always did what she could today the 40 hours a week is just a joke you know to millionaires and billionaires that doesn't even register in their mind what most of the average person doesn't think is that if you sacrifice 10 20 years of your life right now the next rest of your life you could be free and work very little bit or you can work as much as you want but many people would rather just work 30 40 hours a week they don't fill their stomach with motivation reason purpose sacrifice work or perseverance they want to live a comfortable life, you know. Just eat what they can, do what they can, and that's pretty much it. So the meaning of success is accomplishment of a goal. The meaning of procrastination is avoidance of completing a task, which is the complete opposite. Your mind is a garden. What you plant, it will grow. So if you start a new garden, okay, you have to remove all the roots, all the negative thoughts, all the dirt, and put new plants, new dirt, and everything. So the key takeaway is people who choose procrastination will never be successful, and people who choose success will never have procrastination. Last, what can you do to stop procrastination? So take it one step at a time. Confucius said, it does not matter how slowly you go as long as you do not stop. No matter how big or small the goal is, you can never accomplish it if you don't ever, if you don't even take the first step. If your goal is vast and you absolutely desire to achieve it, then what is it going to take you? Procrastination is out of the question for sure. Failure, mistakes, stress, the thought of giving up will be the new poison that clouds your mind and actions, but they are allies to success. A friend of my friend is an enemy of my enemy, therefore procrastination is my enemy. All the times that you put your energy into procrastination, if you had to put the energy into fulfilling your goals, who knows what might have happened? Who knows what might have happened to me six years ago when I literally thought about procrastination and I was just like, let me wait till next year, I'll do it, I'm still young. And you know, that became six years later. So here are some quotes to help you beat the crap out of procrastination and throw you down. A task left undone remains undone in two places, at the actual location of the task and inside your head. Uncomplete task in your head consume the energy of your attention as thing long at your conscious by Brahma Kumaris. Do you know what happens when you give a procrastinator a good idea? Nothing. Donald Garner. Doing just a little bit during the time we have available puts you that much further ahead than if you took no action at all. Be on Pulsifer. Amateurs sit and wait for inspiration. The rest of us just get up and go to work. Stephen King. A year from now, you may wish you had started. Karen Lamb. Procrastination is the thief time. Edward Young. Your future became a reality. How long would it take you to achieve it? Five years, 50 years, who knows? But guess what, if you do it now, and when that time comes, you're gonna feel it, and you're gonna feel very successful, very happy, and very accomplished. So I urge you, when that day comes, and you draw your last breath, will that breath be the most powerful and greatest breath you have ever drawn, or will it be the most painful and agonizing breath? I can describe life in one word, indescribable wake up dreams don't last forever and neither does this amazing wonderful beautiful life thank you so much for staying in with us and please subscribe and like this video if you really do thank you so much for your time and have a great day